amended COVID-19 measures, which take effect today, November 16th, 2020, have been reinforced to target areas of high transmission as recommended by health officials. The stricter measures come on the heels of rapidly increasing cases of COVID-19. Over the weekend, 15 new cases were recorded. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says that epidemiological links between COVID-19 patients indicate a lack of compliance to protocols. Jesse Leos reports on these observations and tightened protocols to limit social interaction. St. Lucia has updated its COVID-19 classification to clusters of cases. As recent as this past weekend, epidemiological links are being established between most of the diagnosed. On Sunday, 15th November, five of the nine cases registered were connected to earlier patients. Three of the four cases registered on Friday are confirmed links to earlier patients also. The Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar-George, notes that the virus's reproductive rate has increased in this second wave on the island. She attributes non-adherence to the protocols as a prime cause. Our contact tracing team, they've noted the increases in transmission in our positive cases. What do they know? The level of risk from our positive cases indicating the lack of compliance to the various protocols and policies that have been put in place um, to date. So that's given we know the lack of compliance. It puts us at this stage in a very critical um, position where if we don't work to to break the chain of, of transmission with immediate effect, it would lead to our, our forecasting and our projections over the next 14 days to almost tripling the numbers that we, we are noting to date. While authorities are generally satisfied with the performance of the business sector in its compliance to the protocols, they remain concerned with what transpires during social activities. Acting Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy says the force has had to deal with protocol offenders in this regard. We realize that we realize that the protocols that had been established, especially um, that was two weeks ago, persons were not um, fully complying. I must um, say that at um, this point we realize that. The wearing of masks, there was a, a vast improvement in the city where persons were um, wearing their mask, I must admit. However, there were certain um, protocols not being followed, for example, at the various bars and um, places of public entertainment. We saw that um, the persons were supposed to have bought their drinks and leave the bar, but that was not happening. Also, we have um, we are still getting complaints on the buses where um, persons are not complying with um, the, especially the drivers, the total number of persons that they need to carry. Um, we are getting the complaints. We are um, getting videos of persons who I must um, at this point um, thank some um, the members of the public who see it fitting to report these um, in incidents. In the update to the nation on Friday, 13th November, Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney announced amended protocols targeting social events. Mass gatherings and social activities are strictly prohibited. No provisions are to be made for celebrations of any kind, including birthdays, retirements, wedding and funeral receptions, wakes, boat rides or picnics. All sporting activities are also prohibited, including gyms. All daily church and religious services are limited to 25 individuals within the church compound. Bars must adopt the grab-and-go policy as consumption of alcohol at establishments is not allowed. Bars must also close daily at 4 p.m. Similarly, all food establishments must offer only takeaway services as dining in is prohibited. We have reached a tipping point. We can change our projection and maintain for the most part the economy and the health of our society but we have to be disciplined this is the only thing that we can do feeling which that we will have to strengthen those protocols even further it's sad 
that persons continue to go to bars and hang out outside. It's sad that persons were continuing to have beach parties. We need to take this thing seriously, St. Lucia mm -hmm. and St. Lucians. We're the only ones who are going to suffer if we fail to rise to this challenge. And these protocols are to be guidelines for you. And by strengthening those guidelines to help the enforcement officers to implement these guidelines. The amended protocols take effect Monday, 16th November, and will be subject to review in a week. Between Friday, 13th November to Sunday, the 15th, the island registered 15 new cases of COVID-19. In this same period, 13 patients recovered, were released from care, and reintegrated into their communities. From the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.